this. If you're in Wagoner, if you're in Aiken, if you're anywhere along, say, Corinth Church or Union Hill School, this is past you. We're seeing this threat extend into portions of Orangeburg County. And notice that little notch right there. That's what we're watching. On the back side of this is just some light to moderate rainfall. And we just got a new scan. So the worst of this is now a little bit further east. Union Hill School right there. We're circling it right in that neck of the woods. So let's go ahead and zoom in on some of these roadways down the line here and show you where we need to be in your safe place. Hollow Creek Road. If you're at Union Hill School, you need to be inside immediately. This is a dangerous storm capable of producing a tornado. We talked about how much moisture we've had in the atmosphere as of late, right? The dew points have been in the 60s and even low 70s. That's enough moisture at the bottom of the column of air at the surface to create enough for a tornado to form. US 321 there around north, if you're watching us, this is coming right into your neck of the woods here. Ebenezer Methodist, Woodford, communities along 178 yet again. We were just talking about 178 for the storm up in Edgefield County. This is well to the south of there down the line, but nonetheless, the intersection of State Road 3, US 178, need to be in your safe place. Oh, look at that bright green to some of that red there. That could indicate some spin just to the east of Denmark and over towards Bamberg as well. So the way that these warnings have been going, these things happen very quickly and they can start to spin up really fast. So we're going to watch out closely for you. This is headed towards you guys in Bamberg along 301 and eventually for communities along 601 in the southeastern corner of the county, closer to Lodge, if you're familiar with that location. And if we could do like a loop of the past 45 minutes, kind of want to show folks what was going on there. Uh, over towards Edgefield County, kind of zoomed out, if you don't mind. So what we had was a pretty classic thing that happens with these squall lines. It's called a bookend vortices. So it's on the tail end of the squall line, and it tails out like a comma. It just starts swooping and curling in like a comma there. And let's go ahead. Yeah, okay, so if we can go back, uh, let's go to the past hour. See if yeah. we can get that. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take you into two so you can see how it develops. There we go, there. yeah. You can see. Right, you see how this thing spins right there. I'm going to slow it up here just a little bit here. Yeah. For you. Uh, it's on the tail end of these squall lines that we can get this low level spin. Notice how this thing just spins for you right there. That's when we get those tornado signatures, and you have to watch out for those very closely on the tail end of those squall lines. Thompson, Washington, Grovetown, any of those directions, the severe threat is all clear for you guys. This has already passed through. The worst of this now situated in Orangeburg County up towards Columbia and then in our southeastern counties in the low country, Bamberg and Allendale. That looks to be out of the area close to 1115, this line of thunderstorms. So here in just a second, we're about to go ahead and get off the air for you.